Imagine a soldier. This soldier feels no fear, it needs no sleep, it follows every order. This is the promise of military robots, a new warrior is here made of metal and wires. The idea is not new but now, it is real. Science fiction often showed us robots in war, books and movies painted pictures of giant machines on battlefields, laser beams flashed brightly, these were once just dreams or perhaps they were nightmares. Now, tech is catching up, the US military leads, the future of war changes, why this sudden rise now? Several key reasons exist, wars showed new dangers, roadside bombs were a threat, soldiers needed more protection, robots could do risky jobs, they could save human lives, technology also got better, computers became so smart, sensors became small, powerful. This essay explores these soldiers. We look at US robots, the giant military ones, how are they built, what can they truly do? We will see real examples, we discuss the good things and we talk hard questions. What does it mean for us? Join this important journey. The journey of a robot, a military robot, is long. It starts as just an idea. Scientists and engineers dream. They think of army needs, a robot to carry gear or a robot to check bombs. Ideas turn into drawings, then computer models are made. It is a careful process. Early military robots were simple. Think remote-controlled cars with cameras attached to them, used for looking around corners or handling dangerous things. But the vision was bigger. DARPA played a huge role. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. DARPA funds bold, new projects. They push technology's limits. One famous DARPA project was called Big Dog. A four-legged robot indeed like a headless metal mule, designed to carry supplies for soldiers on the move. It walked on rough ground, kept balance when pushed. Big Dog showed what was possible, a step to bigger robots. Building these robots costs much. A lot of money is spent. It also takes much time. Expert teams work together. They test in labs first, then on simulated battlefields. Many designs will fail, but each failure teaches well. Slowly, giants get ready, ready for war's challenges. What makes a giant robot work? It is not just metal, not just motors and gears, it is advanced technology. Think of a smart machine. It has a powerful brain, a computer processing fast. It makes quick decisions based on its programming and what sensors tell it. Sensors are the robot's senses, like its eyes and its ears. Cameras that see in darkness, microphones for faint sounds, radar and lidar help too. They see the world in three dimensions. These sensors gather much data, helping robots understand, helping them move and work. A robot is blind without them. Artificial intelligence is key. AI, as it is known. AI allows robots to learn. It helps them to adapt to new, changing situations. Some robots navigate alone. They can identify objects or identify possible threats. AI is not human yet, but it is getting better. Materials used are important. Military robots must be tough. They face very harsh conditions. So, strong light materials, special alloys and composites, their power sources are vital. Big robots need much energy. Batteries or fuel cells or even small engines used. Keeping them powered is hard. US military robots are real, not just lab experiments. Many used in real conflicts, small robots like packbots. They disarm dangerous bombs, explore very dangerous areas. What about giant ones? Giant can mean different things. Large size or great power. We are seeing more of both. Consider the Mars Robot, modular advanced armed robotic system. Not huge like movie robots, but a powerful ground robot. It can carry many tools, sensors, or even weapons. In Iraq, soldiers use them. A robot sent into a house, a sniper was suspected there. The robot found the danger. Then, larger unmanned ground vehicles, UGVs for short. Some are small truck sized, these can carry heavy supplies. They can evacuate the wounded or be weapon platforms. The Army tests combat vehicles, robotic ones, fighting alongside. Imagine a future convoy. Lead vehicles are robotic. One soldier shared his story. Sergeant Ken Smith, he said, That little bot saved me. We sent it to check a bag. Turned out it was an IED, a huge one, he explained. If one of us had gone. These stories are now common. Robots do dull, dirty, dangerous jobs. Protecting lives is the goal. Section 5. Boots off the ground. The unseen advantages of robotic warfare. The most obvious advantage is saving precious human lives. 
When a robot is destroyed a machine is lost yes but not a person, not a life. This is a huge relief for soldiers and their families. Military leaders see this, fewer casualties mean more support, experienced soldiers stay safe. Robots can do human impossible things, they operate in extreme heat or in bitter freezing cold, not affected by chemicals or biological weapon attacks. They can stay alert for days without any need for rest. A human soldier gets tired. A human can make mistakes. Robots can be more persistent. Think about war logistics. War needs so many supplies, food, water, ammo, fuel. Moving these things is risky. Convoys are often attacked. Robots can automate supply. Giant robotic trucks could go, travel in dangerous areas, reducing risk to human drivers. Making the army efficient, robots can carry heavier loads, a soldier is quite limited by what they can carry. This affects their weapons and all their equipment. A strong robot carries more, powerful sensors, big weapons. It can carry more ammo. A small team with robots can be very powerful now. Section 6. More than just metal. The strategic edge of robotic forces. Military robots offer much. More than just tactical help. They give a strategic edge. Nations leading in robotics will lead future conflicts. The United States sees this clearly. So much investment is made. It is about a tech edge. Deterring potential enemies. A strong robot force warns. Robots gather intelligence well in brand new unseen ways. They go to risky places, too risky for human spies, too hard for satellites. Small drone robots fly low. Ground robots can hide and watch for long periods. This information is vital. Knowledge is true power. The speed of robot development, this is also very key. New software updates robots, new sensors can be added. Robots adapt faster than men, faster than humans can train. This rapid change is hard, a challenge for opponents. It forces them to react. The United States hopes to stay ahead. Consider the psychological impact. Facing an army with robots. Advanced robots can be scary, it can demoralize enemies, they might feel outmatched, their old tactics useless. This psychological edge is strong, it can prevent battles, fear of robotic power is a weapon in itself. Section 7, The Human Cost Ethical Dilemmas in the Age of Autonomous Weapons. With great power comes much great responsibility always. Military robots raise questions, serious ethical questions, especially the giant ones. Who is responsible for errors? If a robot kills civilians, who is blamed for this? The programmer, the commander, the robot? Hard questions. One major concern is laws. Lethal autonomous weapon systems. Robots that select targets and attack without humans. Many fear killer robots. A world where machines decide who lives and who will die. Groups campaign against this. Campaign to stop killer robots. The debate is very intense. How can robots know war rules? Human soldiers are trained, trained in combat ethics. They learn about civilians and proportional force used. Can a robot understand this? AI distinguish soldier, civilian, in a chaotic, fast fight? Many experts say no, not yet, perhaps never. There is also an arms race, a risk of this happening. If one country builds them, advanced autonomous robots, others will surely follow. This could be dangerous. Robots fighting other robots. Humans caught in between. It could make wars easier if leaders think no cost. Section 8. Voices of Concern. Debates on Robotic Warfare. Many voices join this debate. General Robert Cohn, U.S. Army, spoke about future brigades. Robots could replace soldiers, a quarter by 2030, he said. He said it reduces risk. I've got clear guidance to think about what robotics can do to reduce risk to soldiers. This shows military thought, but scientists also raise alarms. Professor Noel Sharkey is one, a robotics expert, a critic. He warns of autonomous weapons. He often says this clearly. Machines don't have moral agency. He argues giving machines power, the power to kill humans, is a step too far now. It crosses a moral line. Soldiers themselves have mixed views. Some appreciate the robots, the ones that save their lives like bomb disposal units do. But they also worry much about relying on machines. What if the robot fails? What if it gets hacked? One soldier said anonymously, I'd trust my buddy. A robot? Not sure. International groups are involved. The United Nations hosts talks. Meetings on laws take place. Diplomats, experts, activists, they all discuss the issues. Some countries want new laws, international laws to guide. Others are more cautious now. They want to keep developing. Finding agreement is hard. Section 9. Marching into tomorrow. 
The Future of U.S. Military Robotics The march of military robots, it will not stop its pace. Technology advances fast. We will see more robots in the U.S. military soon. They will become smarter. They will be more capable. Some will be very large. Others will be quite tiny, working together in swarms. Future robots might integrate more closely with soldiers. Think of a soldier wearing a robotic exoskeleton suit. This would give super strength. Or a team of soldiers controlling many robots, semi-autonomous helpers. This is human-machine teaming, combining strengths of both. We can expect more debate as robots get much smarter. Ethical questions will grow. How much autonomy is safe? What are the rules for AI? AI in the battlefield? Society must grapple these. We need to decide now what future we want to see. We must control technology. The rise of US robots, giant military robots is a story of new ideas, a story of protection too, but also new dangers and very hard choices. These machines are just tools, like any tool we make used for good or for ill. Future depends on wisdom, guiding this power with care.